looks so dry. This is rude. Plenty on the lips because I move like salmon. That's not, that's not what I was supposed to say. Can we talk about... This This one's a bit... This one's a serious one and I'm running off the top of my head and, and please bear with me. But can we take... Can we start taking accountability for the way that people treat you? Let's get to the... Let's get to the... Let's get to the... Let's get to the... Who won it? Who, who won it? Which nigga little goon getting stewed with the onion? It really frustrates me when people um, get frustrated about how people treat them, but when you've enabled them to treat you that way. So let me give you an example of what I mean. If you've got a friend, a boyfriend, whatever, that's, um, you know, treating you a certain way and you haven't ever opened your flipping mouth to explain that this is hurting you, I don't like the way you treat me, how can you expect the person to even have a clue? I don't get it. There's girls out there, yeah, that completely, consistently complain to their friends. You know, he's so annoying, like, all he does is play FIFA, like, he doesn't even listen to me. But have you sat down and told your partner, um, babe, I don't like how you're not paying attention to me, I don't like this, I don't like that. Maybe you should stop talking so much to your friends and actually communicate with your partner. Maybe, maybe that will help. It just doesn't make any sense to me. And then people will be like, you know, my friends have, like, an idea of our relationship, like, they don't like you, they don't like our relationship, because you're consistent Consistently going back to your friends and telling all your friends all your business. Your friends do not need to know the ins and outs of your relationship. Your friends are not in your relationship. Relationships are with two people. There's you and your partner. Discuss things between you. Stop going back to your friends and your single friends as well. I'm doing, yeah, whisper, 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 whisper. And then when your friends don't like your partner, you're shocked. That's because you consistently not, you just don't shut your mouth, but you shut your mouth when it comes to your partner though. When he's doing things that annoy you, you just let him do it. Then 15 years, 20 years down the line, you're really confused as to why he's consistently been disrespecting you. Because when you were one day, two days into your relationship, it then went on to a month, you then hit six months, you hadn't once voiced how you felt. You know guys are like babies. I always say this, guys are like babies. They will get away with what they, what you allow them to. With babies, um, once they have a tantrum and you don't you know, nip that in the bud from early curly, they will now know, oh yeah, that time when mummy, that time when mummy, you know, when I shouted at mummy, she didn't do anything about it. So to get my own way, I'm gonna do that. That's what guys do. Guys will try you, they will test you. And it is your job as a woman to say to them when you don't like something or something makes you feel uncomfortable or whatever it is you need to voice how you feel i feel like women are scared some women are scared of men i don't know why I don't know why they're so scared i think it's because it's like in this generation in life people have told you know women to sit down and shut up you know he's the man of the house no he's not the man of the house he would not be able to be the man of the house without me it's that simple um we hold men so close to our hearts and we do so much for them but the moment that they do something that we don't like oh no no no, no he's fine he just, he's going through a lot at the moment i don't want to really put more stress on him but when he was going through stuff he was constantly putting stuff on you and that was fine that was fine for you to do everything for him wasn't it it was cool for you to do everything for him but now when you need him to do one simple thing uh you can't open your mouth because you're scared and then it kind of gets to a point where you now don't have a personality you have now hit 35 you don't have a personality you're scared to even you know say to the the waiter can I have some some salt because you're scared to talk because of this man who has, has con completely controlled you this is the thing <sighs> don't have any more water my throat is extremely dry um people think that you know yeah he well he doesn't you know he's never hit me you know he's never actually shouted at me that doesn't mean that he's not you know disrespecting you or abusing you because abuse comes in different types of ways do you know what i mean financial abuse emotional abuse mental abuse the whole list goes on and i think sometimes people are so used to um, you know, drama or used to being disrespected that they just think it's just the norm. It's not the norm. The person that you're with should completely adore you. They should adore you. You should ask them to do something and it should just be like, oh, thank Yeah, sure, babe. Anything for you. Do you know what I mean? Not, ah, oh, brother's gonna go see my boys and now you're just causing me stress. Like, it shouldn't have to be like that. And any guy that huffs and puffs and always complains that you're complaining you need to drop it drop it out because a lot of the time um when we as women say something to a man they hear the tone so they'll hear like oh my god you never pick up your socks they'll hear the tone of your voice but they won't listen they won't listen to what you're saying 
And that's what's crazy. They will not listen to what you're saying. So to them, you're constantly nagging. But a, lo a, guy's, a guy that will take ownership in what he's done and wants to better himself and you will actually listen to what you're saying and be like, oh, babe, I'm sorry, you know, whatever. And then he, he would just do it. He would just pick up his flipping nasty socks and his nasty underwear and he would just continue his day. Rather than, you're always nagging me, man. You're always asking for too much. Let me tell you something, yeah? Ladies. All the ladies, if you feel me, have me sing. There will always be a guy, there is a guy out there that will never say you're asking for too much. He will actually want you to give him, you would, he would actually give you more. Any guy, any friend, anyone in your life that says that you are asking for too much can keep it stepping, uh, can keep it stepping. There is a guy out there that won't even say that you're giving you your asking for too much. He will give you more and more and more and more. Let me tell you, there are people who are stuck in relationships who have never traveled the world with their partner because the guy, you're just giving me headache, man. You're just giving me headache. Like I don't want to go here. Like, but there'll be an IB for doing. <laughs> They'll be, they'll be popping bottles with their boys. But for you to go on a holiday with them, it's headache and they just they just don't want to do it. That's just, there's no respect. Sorry, little things like that, there's no respect. You have to see red flag. There's red flags in all these things that happen in life. You have to see. And the thing that confuses me, it boggles me, makes me confused is women will cut off their friends, yeah? Cut off their friends of 20 years. But the guy that they've been with for, um, they've been with, for let's say a year and he's he's been disrespecting you for the whole year you will now be like yeah but you know like because he's just going through a lot and like you know but you will have excuses for him but when it's your friend yeah she she just violates me like she doesn't because she doesn't like my boyfriend he just doesn't you don't you don't just settle because that's what you think there's, there's there's greatness out there. There's fun out there. There's guys that will want to travel the world with you. There's guys that will look after you. Like, you know when you're down and out? You know when you're down and out and you're, you're, or you're sick or something? Please look at the people around you or you're depressed. Look at the people around you and see who's there for you, who checks up on you. That's another thing. Why have I got a hammer in me and... It, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. In relationships, it's good to have, you know, those relationships where things happen and you learn from them, da, 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 but not everything has to be a, a six-year lesson. Like, it does... Not everything has to be a flipping... Sorry. You can actually save yourself so much time sometimes just by stepping back and looking at the red flags and asking and being around people who will give you the truth because that's another thing. Like, some friendships, people will be like, yeah, you know, yeah, that, that's... They'll see, they'll see that the guy will be disrespecting you and they're scared to tell you the truth. I need people around me that will be like, Rhea, that's not normal. Let, like, that's not normal that he treats you like that. Or, you know, they're just, they tell you upright. Like, it will hurt, but at least your friends are being real with you. Not like, yes, relationship goals. When they know that yesterday you were crying. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, I'm reloading.